give you a sneak peek of what's going on in there. So it did come up to a boil. What I did was I reduced it all the way down to low so you've seen a nice little simmer. And all we want to do is cook this all the way through, especially the potato, the focus here is the potato. Because once the potato is cooked, we can crank up the heat and burn off all the liquid. Yeah, over the years I've shared many similar recipes with you guys. I mean, let's say we've done many versions of string beans before. Plus we've done French beans, we've done um, Bodhi which pretty much is the same thing with yard beans, uh, but this time we're keeping it strictly vegan and vegetarian and really simple. And I don't think I've shared this one with you all. Now there is a curry version to this and there is a version with salted cod or salt fish. If you would like to see me do any of those recipes, please drop a comment down below. We've got a pound and a half of string beans They've been trimmed, they've been washed, and it's about an inch and a half, an inch, inch and a half or so pieces. We'll need some sea salt. I'm using sea salt, you can use whatever salt you have. I have some coconut cream, a scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna use the entire pepper, I like it spicy. You don't have to put the pepper in there. And I know you're looking and you're seeing these two bad boys here. Those are pimento or seasoning peppers. Absolutely no heat whatsoever. You see the sort of frosting you're seeing there? That is because I grow them in my garden over the summer. Right now it's winter, so they've been in the freezer. I'm gonna need half of a lemon. I've got six cloves of garlic that I crushed there. Um, we need some black pepper. We're gonna need some olive oil. I like using olive oil if you wanted to give it that uh, more je ne sais quoi kind of coconut vibe. You can start with coconut oil. It's a lovely oil to work with as well, or vegetable oil, whatever you have. And I have here four medium-sized potatoes and they've been cut relatively thin, peeled. I cut them in half and then I slice them really thin. It's just in water here, just so they don't discolor. We'll need some black pepper. Uh, of course, well, the pimento peppers I, I mentioned already. So, yo, let's go. Just starting off with my olive oil there, and that's a couple tablespoons of olive oil. As I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to use coconut oil, you can rub the coconut oil. And you know, if all you have is vegetable canola, whatever sort of oil you have and you would like to use, yo, just rock that man. We're just gonna let that come up to temperature. The heat is on a medium high right now. In goes that onion, and it was thinly sliced. Got that fresh ground black pepper in there. I'm gonna turn my heat down to medium low. that a quick little stir and my heat is still on that low setting I'm gonna go in with all of that lovely garlic in there and I'm also gonna stir that I don't want that garlic to burn I'm gonna give that a quick stir just to flavor everything with that garlic and the the onion as well as that black pepper that fresh brown black pepper adds a lot of flavor believe me so we're just gonna let that sort of saute in there for a couple minutes and as it does that with salt, then it's time for all of that potato that we sliced up. We just gotta give that a toss around as well. So and the potato in here is optional. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. The potato in here is to give it a little bit more body, plus it allows me to stretch this dish for, you know, a few more people. When you have, you don't have enough beans for everybody, hey, add some potato in there, just like how mommy would do, yeah? Just gonna scrape in that coconut cream, and the coconut cream, the reason why you're seeing it all chunky like that there, it's been in the fridge, um, and it's gonna be in a block. If you ask, if you're looking for it, in your grocery store, it would be in a block. It won't be in a can, and you would just cut piece off, and that is what I did there. Allowed to come up to room temperature. It's time for the Scotch bonnet pepper as well as the pimento pepper. Yeah, we got to give everything a stir again. I turned my heat up to medium high because I want to sort of bring it up to a boil. And here is, I'm um, speaking about boil, we need some water in there. Now here's the thing, if you didn't want to go with the coconut cream or you don't have coconut cream and all you have is coconut milk, liquid, what you would do, you don't need to add the water in there, you can just substitute the water for coconut milk 
and you'll be fine. We're gonna bring that up to a boil and the reason why we cut the potatoes so small, so thin, is because we don't want to overcook the beans while the potato cooks because the potato will take longer to cook than the beans. What I'm gonna do now is put the lid on there and let that come up to a boil and I'm gonna reduce it down to simmer and keep the lid on there to sort of steam saute in there. You know, bring it on, pull it out, all kind of flavors. I'll just give you a sneak peek of what's going on in there. So it did come up to a boil. What I did was I reduced it all the way down to low so you've seen a nice little simmer. And all we want to do is cook this all the way through, especially the potato. The focus here is the potato. Because once the potato is cooked, we can crank up the heat and burn off all the liquid, thus intensifying the flavor of everything. But for now, lid back on. It's been 15 minutes. I did stir it once already. You can notice the potatoes starting to crumble and fall apart, which means they are about 90% cooked. Some of them were a little bit thicker than the others, so this is why um, you find some of them not breaking down as, as the, the others are. But I have quite a bit of liquid in the bottom there, so what I'm going to do now is crank up the heat to medium high. Um, here's where you will taste it for salt, by the way, and adjust the salt to your own liking. But I'm going to crank up the heat leave the lid off I'm gonna burn off all that liquid and in so doing you may get little crusty bits on the bottom there what we call the bun bun and that is just the natural sugars doing their thing you want that but if you wanted to stop it here and you want that little bit of gravy that's in between there for your sada roti or your bus up shot or whatever else you can rock that I am gonna allow it to cook a little bit longer on that medium high heat now sup <laughs> soldiers listen if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irie, hi Irie. You can see all of the liquid is gone. I'm trying to see the oils that we stir, but the oils, and the reason why I say oils is because that coconut cream is gonna give out its own oils as well too, along with the um, olive oil that we started off with. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. If you recall, at the start of the video, I said there are two other versions of this. It is the one with salted cod or salt fish, and we also have a curry version of this. So if you would like to see those recipes, drop a comment down below. Vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free. Listen, I'm going and talking with some roti there, and I'm on good for the rest of the evening. Irie? Irie.